Tim Kiefer, MIBTOnline.com. Welcome to uh, the 2020 season kickoff. Yes, that's right. We're going to kick things off here at MIBTOnline.com for our weekly football training meetings. We don't know if we're going to have football where, when, how. Some states here in Illinois, they've moved to the spring. Uh, if you go to Alabama, where Stan is, they're going to play on time. We've got many members from across the country. So we have made a commitment here at MIBTOnline.com to be here every Wednesday night, for the most part. Maybe we'll skip some holidays or something like that, at 7 p.m. Central, so you know where to get some football. So now, July's Play of the Month results. This is pretty, uh, pretty crazy. We had, the, we had the play and that, you know what, let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show the play. Let's pull up the play right now and let's get there. So the play of the month, we're going to go wide on this. So the play is, we've got this formation. Whose flag is it? Who should be flagging this illegal formation? And when you see you got the flag at the bottom coming from the line judge. And so let's look at it. Let's, let's count this out real quick. You're going to see this in a, new, in a new view. This is our new, new little toy here today once it loads up. So right now, we've got our official down here at the bottom. So he's the one who, who threw the flag, and that's our, our uh, line judge. Our head linesman up here, he didn't throw a flag. But if we go back to the beginning of the play, go back to the beginning of the play, you'll see that you've got one, two, three, four, Five. So that's clearly five in the backfield. And four of them are to this official side. So I, I'm a little, was a little confused as to why that official did not throw on this, to be honest. I, I don't know why he didn't. But ultimately what ends up happening is that the play, like I said, the play goes out. You'll see it run here. And the line judge Identif uh, correctly identifies this as a illegal formation. So we're going to go back to the PowerPoint here. We'll get that running here. So the PowerPoint had us with our results. Who should throw this flag? A hundred percent. This has never happened before. A hundred percent said both officials should show that or should throw this flag, and that is great because that's true. Both officials should, show, uh, should throw on this penalty because both, when you're working the line of scrimmage, you both are responsible to know if you've got the proper, uh, uh, the proper players on the line and you have the, no more than the proper number in the backfield. So, you know, they've changed the rule a little bit in high school where you just have to have five in the line but you can't have more than four in the backfield. So you can count in the backfield, but both wing officials should recognize this. Now, Bill, you know, it's been, you've heard this a long time, and people have said that, yeah, we should have two flags on this, and you saw the poll, it's 100%. But there has been this kind of a, a, I would say, a new philosophy that as long as one of the officials get it, we want to get this right. And a lot of times, if the, like that bunch formation is to that head linesman side, which he didn't throw, which he probably should have, then maybe he would be the only one to throw because he's got all those receivers in front of him. What's your thought? I, I mean, I still think that both should be thrown. Yeah, I think 99.9% .9 of the time you'll have both officials throw on it. There could be the exception that I might have uh, with the bunch over here if I'm putting one of those guys on the line. Um, you know, you know if I'm putting them on the line or not. That's where signaling before a play is critical. And, you know, on a play like this, obviously the line judge got the call, got it right, which is good. But at the same time, he needs to communicate to that head linesman that he needs to do a better job with his visual communication between plays. I mean, if you're not going to get this one for, as an illegal formation, uh, why throw on any other one? You know, so, but it, it's, you know, it, it's the obvious thing. The flag came from the opposite side. The whole foul occurred on the op on the other side. Um, the, the headlines were just uh, he was obviously incorrect. So do you give a correct call to the line judge and an incorrect no call to the headlinesman? I would, especially in that formation, because how does the headlinesman not 
identify that. He's got the four receivers or the four, you know, four players in front of him plus the quarterback. I would agree. I think, I think you give the, the line judge a correct call, and I would ding the head linesman because you, you want that focus to be there, and you just wonder where it might have been. He probably, had, he probably had so many players in front of him, he couldn't see the quarterback under center, so he just thought that these were the four guys in the backfield. So now it's time for our MIBT Online Play of the Week for this week. And we're going to have these weekly now. So how about it? We're not going to be doing them monthly. We're going to be doing them weekly. So we'll go to the PowerPoint presentation, and you'll, you'll see what we're going to do. So this is for August 5th. So here's the play. So we're going to go wide on the play. And I'm, going to, I'm only going to run this play twice. So the question, it's a kickoff. The question's going to be, how many illegal blocks do you see? So we're going to let it play out. Here it goes. So keep that in mind as you're watching this. I'm not going to do slow-mos or anything like that. you got to find them all. How many potential illegal blocks do you see on this play? And it's going to run out. So there you go. All right, so that's the end of the play. I'm going to run it one more time. One more time, it's a kickoff, so get ready. I guess if you're watching this on YouTube or something later or in the on-demand version, you can go back and go slow on it, but I want you to find as many illegal blocks on this play as you can. So there it goes again, or potential illegal blocks. I guess, you know, they may or may not be. That's going to be the discussion next week. All right, so, so here's, the, uh, the, here's the question. How many illegal blocks can you find? Three or less, four, or five or more. So it's going to be on Twitter, officially speak. If you don't have a Twitter account, please email me, tim at mibtmedia.com, or you can put the comments in the Facebook, because this will be on Facebook. You can put the comments in on the YouTube, uh, what you think. Uh, go to the, if you have a Twitter account, it'll be on Twitter, the, uh, the poll. So go check it out or email me, because guess what? From all the random entries, if you email me your answer, and, and we're gonna sh we'll share some of your answers next week, we got some stuff to give away. We've got uh, 2019 DVDs to give away, Bill and Monty's Best Practices. We've got T-shirts to give away. So we're going to start giving stuff away for people who participate. So please email, and randomly we'll, we'll pick some people, and we'll start sending them some stuff. So that way you can wear your MIBT Media, MIBT Online stuff with pride as a member of this great association.